Hello everyone. My name is Tobias Müller. I'm the CTO and one of the co-founders of Exemtech, an automation company for packaging and assembly of optical systems. And today it's my great pleasure to show you how we can help you to breathe life into your photonic system production. So let's dive into it. So let me start with some key facts on our company. We are located in the very west of Germany, right next to Belgium and the Netherlands, and we've been founded four and a half years ago. We are a spin-off company from the Fraunhofer Institute for Production Technology, where our technology was born and matured. Um, so when we founded it um, about four years ago, it was already there for over a decade. Um, we are completely privately owned, fully independent, but still maintain a very good relationship to our colleagues from Fraunhofer. We have an installation base of over 20 machines in the meantime, and uh, today over 25 people work at Exemtech, which is quite a nice number, I think, um, considering the fact that we are growing organically at a rate of an um, incredible 147%. So this has just been um, testified by the Financial Times. So feel free to um, check it out. So time to give you more deeper insight into what Exemtech is really doing. Our core business are precision assembly and testing machines and services. And well, our technological base um, and excellence relates to the machine, which you see on the left hand side of this slide. Um, it's a very, very flexible, um, yeah, let's say precision assembly machine platform. And we use it really to enhance and accelerate our customers both in R&D and in production. And the USPs that we have is really, let's say the flexibility and the intelligent um, software environment that makes it very easy for us to reconfigure the machine and very quickly ramp up new processes. Additionally, we can give open access to our customers. So enable them to really put own sensors into um, yeah, the automation uh, environment and do very innovative things. Lastly, but not leastly, absolutely, is our combined business model. So we want to make our technology accessible and usable. And this is why we offer demonstrations. We offer feasibility studies. We offer job shop service. And only when the de-risking is done, so when the customer is, is certain that his product is working, that the process is working, he needs to buy a machine to, um, yeah, to do his self-sustained produ um, production. And this ensures a very short time to market and a minimized risk both in the financial and the technological domain. Besides the R&D line, we also have a production line. This production line has one very specific feature, and that is short replication time and a lead time of only 8 to 12 weeks. And this is kind of our answer to scalability. Whenever a customer wants to double his capacities, he can just order a second um, um, type of a machine and get it replicated in 8 to 12 weeks. So here you get an overview about the markets and applications that we're actually serving. I don't want to address every single point, um, but yeah, just highlight we are serving the laser industry. We are serving imaging and projection industry, but also integrated photonics, fiber optics. So really a wide range. And that is only in, within four years um, of time that Exemtech exists. And this is kind of a proof how really flexible and how well our machine system um, yeah, works when it comes to adaptation to different um, applications. Now I want to spend a few more words on our business model because this is really important to understand. We offer prototyping at Exemtech or at Academic Partners um, yeah, to get first systems done on our precision assembly machines. Whenever that works, Exemtech can also take over of, let's say, small series to mid-sized volume production. We did actually over 100,000 units for one customer um, a few years back before. Well, he saw that his market is working, that the cycle time is right, that the yield is right. And then he got um, yeah, multiple machines from us. And today you see here on the right hand side, this is um, our customer's clean room where we see two assembly machines and two sorting machines. And in the meantime, there's even more. So um, I want to now get back to the flexibility. So how do we really do it? Um, one side is obviously the hardware. So we have a machine module park of over 50 um, machine modules, which can be dispensers, micro manipulators, target cameras, feeding components like fiber um, optics trays or um, yeah, gel pack or waffle tray holders. So as I mentioned, over 50 
these modules. One I want to highlight a little bit. This is our micro manipulator, which we self develop. Um, it's an ultra precision 3D manipulation tool, a hexapod um, with a superb step resolution of only 10 nanometers or five micro radians. And because the only friction inherent parts are the drives, it's almost maintenance free. And um, yeah, industrial grade, we have it in the field since 2014, even before the company has been founded um, in automotive industry. And in the meantime, well, it's proven its um, reliability um, over many, many years. However, just a few more words on the micro manipulator. It's not just purely a manipulation tool. We enhance it in terms of functionality. This is by integrating, for example, metrology, um, by integrating curing equipment like this UV curing unit and by offering a wide variety of gripping tools, vacuum nozzles, um, tweezer grippers, clamping grippers, um, van der Waals force grippers, um, just to name a few. Um, yeah, and that makes it a monolithic um, handling alignment and bonding tool, uh, which is used for hold and cure functions in, um, in active alignment processes. And now let's make the final turn of my presentation um, towards the software of our systems. And here I'd like to um, cite my um, colleague Matthias Höschema from CSEM with this nice image he always uses to explain what software means in automation. What you see is kind of the tip of the iceberg, so less than 10% um, of the modularity. This is related to the hardware. What makes a machine really modular is what's below um, the water level, and that's the infrastructure. Um, how does hardware and software work together? How is it integrated? How open is it? And um, yeah, how usable, user-friendly is it? And at XMTech, we address this topic by user levels. So operators have completely different demands than engineers. And again, engineers have different demands than developers. And I will relate uh, a little bit more um, what this really means for us. So what we want to do on our machine is change the rules of automation. So move away from, let's say, state-of-the-art machine programming to code on a machine in a defined language with a limited extendability. This is what we want to change. Uh, and here we are offering um, a machine that really integrates into the code of the machine programmer. He can use open source libraries, he can integrate any sensor that has a DLL or an API, um, and he can be very, very fast and very innovative within the framework um, of our machine. And well, you're more than welcome to get in touch and get a live demo um, of yeah how we do it and what we do here. So now getting back to the operator requirements. For an operator, it's very important to have stability and ease of use. So um, this is just to, to show how an operator uses our machine. So we have this kind of traffic light, light system. Um, he starts to insert, um, for example, which product it is, chooses process parameters, um, and so on. Uh, and then um, starts uh, operating the machine and just monitors um, how processes are going. And we've got a really nice um, customer voice from one of our valued customer, Fisba Optics from Switzerland. And yeah, Mr. Martin Fora um, gave us this testimonial that our machines are really um, user-friendly on their shop floor. Secondly, I would like to come to the second domain, engineering. So. Engineers may not be um, like uh, the perfect programmers. They just want to use a machine in a very intuitive way, have some scripting functionalities, use maybe process building blocks. And here is um, how this works. So this is a software um, developed at Fraunhofer IPT actually, but put on our machine system. And here by drag and drop, you can insert move, um, measurement move poses and configure these poses. So here, secondly, we put capture an image. We choose a camera, which you see over here in the virtual machine. And with this um, drop in windows, we can just configure um, yeah, the commands that are executed. And also, as you see down here, there's a custom library for e.g. Um, active alignment routines. Now, this little process, this is a live um, <laughs> demo how it's programmed. So we store it. We double click and load the demo process, which has just been dragged together. And now we execute it. And now the virtual machine over here, which behaves exactly like the real machine, is moving to make an inspection and then derive from this image the coordinates of this, um, yeah, this feature 
and dispense some uh, a virtual droplet of adhesive onto that point. And so, yeah, this is kind of, let's say, how an engineer um, may very comprehensively put together an assembly sequence. La Lastly, for the developers, I want to just make one stand say a statement here. It is not more than five lines of code which we need for an active alignment algorithm. We are giving access to open access software libraries for artificial intelligence, deep learning. We have standardized software tools and we can provide an open um, access hardware interface. And also here we have a very nice customer voice from um, QAnt uh, who are using our machine to develop their quantum photonic systems. And with this, I'd like to close and I'm looking forward to our ongoing discussions. Please feel free to reach out to me or my colleagues. Thank you very much.